Here's a basic little entry level handgun for you folks out there. It's one of those infamous Taurus handguns. Uh, Taurus doesn't have the best uh, reputation out there. They've had issues with customer service in the past, and they've had issues with a few lemons uh, in their lineups. But from what I've read so far and researched on this particular model, um, this particular model has been doing pretty good, especially the third generation model like you see right here. This is the PT-111 Pro, Millennium Pro. This is the compact 12 plus 1 model, uh, 9 millimeter. And again, this is the third generation model. There's three generations. This is the third. And this little gun, uh, the price spread on this, you could probably find from about $320 to about $380. Sometimes you might even find them less, especially if you find them used. This is new. And I paid 350 bucks for this one. Again, 12 plus 1 capacity on the magazine. It has the manual thumb style, thumb safety right here. Very easy to activate and take off. There's your slide lock, slide release, your rotating takedown pin. does have the straight 8 Heine sights on it, which I do like. Good slide serrations for... Uh, Getting a good grip on the slide. You've got the horizontal uh, stippling here on the front and back of the grip. The trigger is a double action, single action. You can see here it's in single action. Every time you rack the slide, it's in single action. You can see there's your take up. And there you go. And then every time, it's single action. Now if you get a click instead of a bang, this does have second strike capability. Let off the trigger. Now, you can see now it's in double action. And as soon as the slide is racked, back in single. Pretty much the same trigger setup as the Taurus PT-24-7s. And they're not the best triggers out there, but they're definitely serviceable. I don't mind them at all. I kind of like that double action, single action. Now, the, uh, the main thing that sticks out about this gun is if you look at the grip. The grip is pretty small. That's because there's no mainspring back here. If you look... It's very thin. There's no, usually on most handguns, you have a little bit of a mainspring right here, which adds a little bit of bulk to the rear of the handle. But there's nothing here, so it's very small, and it takes a little bit of getting used to. Here's a loaded 12-round magazine. You can see there's a little bit of a finger groove there. I have pretty large hands, and it fits perfectly fine. And it does have the little memory pads right here, so it helps you... Uh, with your consistent offhand placement if you need that. The magazine release, nice and flush fitting with the handle, but still easy to actuate. And uh, that's one thing I really like. I don't like mags, uh, mag releases that stick out really far, especially if you're concealing inside the waistband. You don't want something actually pushing up and disengaging that magazine. The uh, overall design of the gun, like I said before, Taurus has had some lemons in the past and these guns aren't perfect they've had some lemons with these mostly with the first generation models they were working out the bugs with the second generation there's still a few issues this is the third generation and from what i understand occasionally there's a lemon but for the most part these are solid guns for basic self-defense work uh, concealed carry work backup gun these things work great now i'm going to get out to the range Hopefully soon. My schedule's kind of weird lately, so uh, hopefully I'll get out to the range soon and put some rounds down range, video it, show you the accuracy of the gun, um, rapid fire, slow fire. Maybe I'll do some drills with it. I don't know. Maybe I'll change up my videos a little bit. I've noticed my shooting videos, when I look back at my shooting videos, they're all kind of the same, so I guess I need to juice it up a little bit somehow. Maybe start incorporating some drills into the shooting that I videotape just for the hell of it. Uh, just so that way you're not just watching me shoot at a 10 yard target, whoop de doo So in any case, this is kind of an initial overview of this Taurus. And some people love them, some people hate them. I haven't had much experience with Taurus, that's why I decided to go ahead and get one and do a review on one, get out there, get familiarized really good with one, shoot it for a while. Um, Taurus is one of those brands a lot of people overlook. So I'm looking, you know, for myself just to see, well, is Taurus actually worth a crap? 
So far, from the design, looking at the internals of this gun and the externals, it's a solid gun. We'll see how it performs. And, uh, of course, you know, I'll report to you whether it's good or bad. But for the most part, from what I've heard on the Internet, this model of gun should work good. We'll see. Keep in mind that uh, this gun isn't meant for plus P loadings. It even says it in the manual. And actually in the manual it states 124 grain or less for the 9mm loadings. So you're not supposed to be throwing big old 147 grainers through it or plus P, plus P plus loadings, fancy reloads, any of that. Stick with the standard 124 grain defensive or less. I'll probably shoot a lot of 115 grain. These right here are 115 grain hollow points. So, we'll stick with that. And the main reason, by the way, the main reason they say that is because of the takedown pin. If you shoot heavy, heavy loads, you could crack or break that takedown pin. It is what it is. And, uh, again, it's just part of the gun. I think Taurus would do well to maybe beef that up a little bit so that way, <clears throat> so that way you can run heavy loads through this. But that's up to Taurus. I'm not going to complain too much. In fact, it is, for me, this gun is only a $350 gun wasn't that expensive at all. So all right, thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay free, stay armed.